Uh, le let's move along. Uh, there is another interesting uh, documentary that uh, just uh, uh, came out of uh, Liberia. Uh, the more than Me Too CEO Katie Mailer resigned today after allegations are surfaced uh, in uh, the pro uh, publica uh, pro republica uh, and uh, Time magazine publication, yeah. alleging that uh, the people who are entrusted to protect these young girls. One of the core, one of the workers of this uh, U.S. based uh, NGO was actually raping these young girls. Yeah. Uh, your thoughts about that? Oh yes, I mean it's it's one of the heart wrenching kind of stories, and uh, we really have to give credit to this ad, an, yet another mm. uh, investigative journalism here. Uh, what I know is that we have such kind of sad stories across the continent of Africa where people have formed these NGOs. But there's no proper oversight, and uh, pedophiles and other people are sex exploit, uh, sexual uh, kind sexual of uh, exploiting, uh, uh, exploiting children have done, have wreaked havoc across African societies. And many times, because there's no close monitoring by the governments of these countries, because what happens? Uh, because many governments of Africa have decided to give a free rein to some of these NGOs, they don't hold them accountable because they are recipients of, uh, of aid and therefore they don't feel like they need to monitor and question and challenge how these pl places are being run. But, but uh, wait a minute, in fairness to that point, I like the argument you're making, but uh, these very, very, uh, some of these uh, NGOs are heavily, heavily monitored. There are some countries where these NGOs can just break in. Uh, well, they may come and set up. But once they show that they're giving, they're providing free education or some free kind of programs to local kids, uh, the monitoring I'm talking about is who is questioning when some one guy spends uh, some crazy amount of time with little kids? Who, who is around there to say, uh, under what circumstances do you spend time with these children? How do they spend their nights? There were cases I know, there was a case in Kenya, for example, where a guy formed an NGO, and of course he got all the government support to set it up, but what did he used to do? He used to go at night and pick up one of the girls, a girl every night, and mm. these are kids who were orphans, and go and sexually uh, exploit them. Who was there to monitor their, the activities of this guy? Who was questioning, uh, you know, how he relate to these kids day and night? So it is a very sad tale. But I can guarantee you across the continent of Africa, there's a lot of sexual exploitation of children, especially orphaned kids, poor kids, mm. in the name of them being helped by whether it is international or local NGOs.